Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your comments. If you do not subscribe to my channel, please do because I do actually uh, upload weekly and monthly tarot forecast. And if you are interested in additional guidance aside from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily oracle guidance card every single day. And of course, if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com and read about how I offer my private readings. Please be sure to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign for these general tarot forecasts to get the most insight. If you do not know what your sun, moon, or rising signs are, I do actually have uh, listed below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free. So again, I just want to thank you all for your support. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 3rd through the 9th. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Eight of Swords. Okay. You have a lot of Swords cards here in the spread, Cancer. Okay. Uh, and if you can't resonate with this reading, please watch your other signs or I suggest having a private reading. Um, with the Eight of Swords, for some Cancers, this this possibly is an energy that you, you've already been experiencing. You're, you're actually leaving this energy behind. You're, you're moving on from this energy. But for some of you, this is that mental energy. This is you very much uh, stuck in the head, you could be fearing the worst, worrying unnecessarily when it comes to something. Now, when I just lifted up the Eight of Swords, underneath it, I have the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, um, this could be some confusion. There could be a lot of worries, a lot of concerns or confusion around a new beginning here. Maybe something that you're trying to manifest with this Ace of Pentacles. It could be something that you're waiting on. And maybe there's... Um, a lot of fears or anxieties or worry that you're dealing with. Now, for some of you, this is an energy that you're actually moving away from um, because I see many of you actually moving away from challenges, moving away from difficulties. You have uh, a couple of tens here in this spread and tens represent cycles that are completing. Um, so for some of you, this is definitely a cycle, a period. Um, within your life that is now completing. The overall energy for the week Cancer is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit. So it actually takes a lot of strength and a lot of passion to be in this position. So I actually see many of you coming through very passionate, very courageous. Um, there's something that you want. There's something that you're very passionate about. Um, with the Seven of Wands, you're not about to give in. You're not about to settle. You're not about to back down or quit or compromise for some of you. So this is you coming through actually very strong, very passionate. There's something that you desire, there's something that you want and you're, you're, you're not budging. It can be a little bit more of a stubborn energy. Yes, sometimes it can be a defensive energy. Um, this could be for some of you defending what it is that you want, defending your beliefs. Um, I feel like the majority of you, there's something that you want could be this Ace of Pentacles here that we had underneath the Eight of Swords. And this is you really honestly not backing down when it comes to that. A little bit more of a stubborn energy here. But this person has the advantage. In other decks, you see that this person is on, on higher ground. They have the advantage. And as long as you don't back down and you don't settle, uh, you actually will be successful. So for some of you, you know, because, you know, you're fighting for what it is that you want, uh, because you haven't backed down, you're actually going to be very successful with manifesting maybe this Ace of Pentacles. Now, you have a couple here. You have the King of Swords, but then underneath him, you actually have the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, this, this reading is in regards to a relationship with the King and the Queen of, of Swords. So 
you know, this could be you and your partner. Um, to be honest, maybe there are some cancers you're going through a divorce, or maybe you've been having having some challenges within your relationship. Um, but you could be very focused on maybe healing, very focused on on moving past those 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 challenges, because we have the King of Swords here with the Six of Swords. So for some of you, you're focused on moving forward. Um, you have actually a couple of sixes here in this spread and sixes really speak of harmony and balance. It's a more um, harmonious energy. So for some of you, you're very focused on you know, maybe working on your relationship for those of you that aren't breaking up. This could be you really wanting to get along with your, your partner. You're very focused on healing. But also this is you moving towards peace of mind in some way. Now you could actually be moving house. You actually could be traveling. Uh, and this is a more serious energy. He's he's a very determined person. So for some of you, you're taking on this more ear sign energy this week. Absolutely. You're very much in the mind. You're strategizing. You're planning. I think that you're very focused on the future. You're focused on moving forward in some way. Uh, this could be you physically traveling or physically maybe moving house. And then for other cancers, you know, you're you're focused on at least moving towards peace of mind. Um, moving away from any sort of conflicts or challenges that, that you've been dealing with. You have the five of swords underneath the six of swords. And this can be, you know, difficulties, arguments, deceit. Um feeling defeated in some way. So for some of you, this is what you're moving away from. You could have had conflicts within a relationship, a lot of arguments. But, you know, I see you moving on from that now. Um, you know, and, and if you are, you know, if you are breaking up with someone for, you know, that small number of, uh, of cancers who are maybe moving on from a relationship, I think that that would be what's best. If you are deciding, if you are choosing to move forward with that Eight of Swords, you know, you could have been a cancer that, you know, you were fearing the worst. Um, there was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknowns in regards to the future, and maybe you were just too nervous to move forward. That Eight of Swords, it, it can be a self-restricting sort of energy. So holding yourself back, very scared, very nervous, um, but for some of you, maybe you're, you know, now this week coming through a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more passionate, and you are maybe deciding to move forward. The Five of Swords can be a little bit more of an aggressive energy as well, where you're now taking on definitely a more aggressive approach. For some of you, it's almost like you're very, you're tired, you're sick of whatever, you know, this situation is. It's mentally draining for you. If this is a relationship that's going nowhere, it's wearing on you. So, you know, you I, I feel like you just want this 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 period or this cycle within your life to, to be over with. You're ready. You're ready to move forward in some way. Now, there certainly could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra person around you that's quite significant. This could be your spouse. But then for some other Cancers, this is going to be maybe an attorney that is going to be helping you. Because I also do have the Hermit here. So there certainly could be some Cancers that maybe you're now maybe making the decision to go and speak to an attorney. You're taking a more aggressive approach. The Five of Swords will is also an energy where this person will do whatever they have to do to come out on top when it comes to something. So for some of you, this is you maybe going to speak to an attorney. Uh, the Hermit can also be a father. This can be a grandfather. For some of you, you're seeking some sort of counsel or guidance here. Could be from a Virgo, if not a Virgo, of course, an ear sign person with the Ten of Swords here. This is you completing uh, a difficult cycle within your life. The worst is now behind you. And with the Six of Wands here, I think that some of you are, are, are definitely a little bit more aggressive, more passionate, but also you now have the confidence. For some of you with that Eight of Swords, you were too scared to move forward with something. You were lacking the confidence. And now for some of you, you you've, you've gone within. You now have the confidence you need to move forward in some way. 
uh, because this is draining. This is absolutely draining you. If, if this has been conflicts within a relationship. Now, this also could be with a business partner. This could be with a family member. It doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. I feel like, you know, with the hermit here, he's very much on his own. For some of you, that's what you're moving towards. You're going to maybe be single or maybe um, go into business for yourself. You're moving towards, you know, being on your own for some cancers. Um, this difficult period has definitely been weighing on you. It's been stressing you out. You have the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands. But you've been hanging in there. For some of you, you've been carrying this heavy load and you've been hanging in there. For some of you, um, maybe towards the end of the week here, um, I see you taking some time to yourself with a hermit. I think you're definitely going to spend some time alone. Um, go within, listen to your intuition when it comes to this situation. For those cancers that you've been working far too much with a 10 of wands, maybe working two jobs, are working every day, um, you know, you need to ask for help, but then you also need to take some you time, which I definitely see some of you doing. So for some of you, um, you know, this is a this is a cycle that's ending. So, you know, this burden um, is you're, you're going to be releasing some of these burdens absolutely for some cancers. So very interesting reading. Financially, I don't feel like it's a bad week, but I think that, you know, you have some other other things going on, that's where your focus is at. Uh, for some of you, you're, you're coming through a little bit more passionate this week, a little bit more aggressive. You know, sometimes in life we do need a more aggressive approach and I think that some of you are now feeling more confident and you're moving forward confidently, which this is really good. I am switching it up this week, Cancer. I'm using my Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. So let, there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, this card just came right out immediately. This is meant for you, Cancer. It's overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiel, the worst is now behind you and you are sur surmounting any previous challenges. Overcoming difficulties. This could not resonate more. And this particular reading is meant for a certain number of, of Cancers. So if you can't resonate, you know, watch your other signs. But this is meant for those cancers that need to see this. Um, you're overcoming whatever challenges it is that you've been dealing with. And, and I can see that, you know, for some of you, you've definitely felt challenged. Something's been weighing on you. But this is a nice confirmation that you are overcoming those difficulties. You're moving forward. You know, this is a cycle that is finally completing for you. So very nice, cancer. So... I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.